Goodwill workers of Reddit, what are some of the weirdest most interesting things people have donated? I was volunteering at a Goodwill once and while sorting donations, came upon an urn that still contained the ash of human remains. 3 man tent, all poles, excellent condition, complete with it filled underwear stashed away in one of the pockets attached to said tent. Hey, a question I can answer, I've gotten lots of stuff. The usual 6 toys, lots of weed, I got a barrel of wine, used needles, one of which I found with my finger, once accidentally accepted a cat hiding in box of clothes, there were things like 14 feet Christmas tree, Nazi lantern, nifty sock, a guy tried to give me his truck once, which apparently my store does take vehicles but those are picked up after paperwork is filled out not donated directly to the store. My lead got mad me for taking a bouncy castle once. During the Austin TX serial bombings earlier this year, someone donated an artillery simulation device that ended up going off while being sorted and led to minor injuries to an employee and mass hysteria that the bomber had started to target donation drop-offs. Bad weird donation. Worst timing. Old porn DVDs donated with a crack part full of moldy bean water. A glass jar labeled Fart June, 1975. Not a worker, but one time I found a handwritten Bible, in German, from 1849. The 14 year old me couldn't afford the $150, but I assume that it might have gone for more online. Worked there one summer at a satellite drop off area by a bar. Weirdest was a medical study skull made from a real human skull. It came in a legit medical study supply box. The top of the skull was cut and hinged. The used vibrator was a highlight. With the added touch of a single pube stuck to it. The dead mouse was dart a somewhat different experience. The homemade jam was a nice one. We couldn't sell it but we had pre-opening staff toast parties in honor of Mrs. Old Lady and her homemade plum jam. Edit. Just remembered another one. The mystery knitter. So every so often. At various times of various days, a bag would appear, a nondescript white bag, full, with white tissue paper on top, and the bag would be beautiful knitted baby wear, cardigans, hats, booties, all different sizes and colors, all hand knitted, with the same talcum powder scent, we try to stake the front of shop out to find out who but we never did, I still go in for a chat and a rummage and the mystery knitter is still at it. We like to think of some wee old lady lurking around until the coast is clear then finagling finagling the bag into the shop and leaving the scene unnoticed. Edit. Thanks to you Quasar Sandwich for spelling check. This guy brought in a metal dance dance revolution pad that looked like it was harvested off of an original arcade machine. Edit. If anyone can help me I have an image on my profile submitted to the DDR subreddit. I think it's actually our dance dance revolution. I have a different take on the goodwill gold, and also, after reading this thread, you, gross, my area of expertise is instruments and occasionally people donate incredible antique instruments. There are many dealers who watch these so it's not like you can go find one on the shelf for $50, but recently for example someone donated an amazing German cello from a respected maker made around the 1750s. Even without being able to take a good look at it, at auction it could have gotten anywhere from $5 k $30 k, but beyond the monetary value, imagine the history of an instrument that old, outliving so many of its players, being played in courts and concert halls before electricity could light them, being made completely by hand, even the source trees were cut down by hand and horses pulled them to a mill. Performance after performance for over two, one stroke two centuries all to end up being given to the goodwill. It sort of short circuits my mind a little bit to think about how we lived then and how we live now, and then sometimes how those times intersect at the goodwill. Kind of sad, kind of beautiful, edit, gold train, hoot hoot, gratitude my dudes, but seriously I'm so grateful to all the replies and all the people talking about restoring old instruments and what their instruments mean to them. Keep playing. Haven't worked at Goodwill, in Australia, but did volunteer in an op shop for 8 months. Most interesting thing by far was a piece of East German propaganda from 1967 about the Berlin Wall. 
included lots of info about how the West Berliners were smuggling weapons and criminals. Interesting read for sure. Edit. I didn't manage to get the book. This was a while back. But I did get a few pictures of it for those interested. Dash. We got a winter jacket with a lice comb and an extremely old hard boiled egg once. My co-worker took the egg out back and chucked it. Which is how we found out about it being hard boiled. Also people have accidentally donated their groceries before. That's always interesting. A suitcase full of 6 toys. I used to work at Valley Village and one day somebody brought in an entire truck load of machines used in a convenience store. Those hot dog rollers. Slurpee machine. Warming cases and surprisingly that ended up selling them. A blazer vest with a live bat comfortably nestled inside it. Cute little guy. Never got pictures. Was before the age of smartphones I'm afraid. Got the thickest pair of gloves to carefully grab him and release him outside. I worked in the sorting area for a month sorting electronics. It was mostly crap but I did get this big RC robot that shot little rockets. The guy across from me did not find it amusing. Also plugged in an old drill which promptly tripped a fuse in the warehouse. I don't work at a goodwill but my brother once bought a rock he found on the shelf there for $11. There was nothing special about it. It was just a normal rock. An SM collection. There was a whip, a fur glove, several heavily illustrated insanely violent novels from the 70s, and other stuff I've forgotten. My manager let me take most of it for $0.99 an item. She kept the fur glove. A book with Bible for the deaf written across the cover while the rest of it was written in braille. They kinda missed the point with that one. My brother used to work there and one time someone donated probably by accident a pair of fake breasts like the ones some cancer patients get. Anyways he got the idea of a little bitty skinny dude walking around with some d-cup tits would be hilarious. Turns out it was and the looks he got were priceless. Years ago, my grandfather worked in an unclaimed airport baggage store. Fixing and tinkering with electronics. He had a larger portable radio come in that didn't work and started to take it apart. The entire inside was stuffed with weed. An entire cardboard box of original newspapers from historical events. Kennedy assassination. Nixon resignation. Man on the moon. Etc. This was 7 years ago now. Had a lady. Late 30s. Donate everything in her house. A whole moving truck full. I didn't notice anything until it was almost empty. She was acting nostalgic. Yet semi flippant about giving it all away. At the end she asked if she could pray for me and the co-worker that helped unload the truck. It was only a few seconds after she drove away that I had a sinking feeling about this lady. I told my boss that nothing about this lady seemed right. Ended up racing through some of the boxes to look for info. Found a bunch of journals and things from therapists over the years. Turns out she'd been living with mental illness for most of her life. And was giving us all her stuff so she could go home and end her life. I asked my boss to call the police. And an officer apparently contacted her sister. And they prevented her from committing suicide that day. I'm unsure if she's still alive today. But I hope she wasn't mad at me for trying to help. Colon. We got a hella expensive gold necklace. Like. $1500. Our price printer only went up to 999 so that small necklace in a bag had two price tags on it. My manager put up a sign on the front door saying it existed if someone wanted to buy it. I was in shock as to why someone would just donate an expensive jewelry necklace. It was insane. Someone came in wanting to buy it and the manager had to sell it to him cause a lowly cashier might duck it up. Except my manager. Ducking up. Only scanned one of the price tags. She got fired by a higher up for missing out on $500. My mom works at the Salvation Army. She found a coat with $1000 in cash. Guess who got themselves extra college money? This guy. Points thumbs at self. Not a goodwill worker but I do work in a locally owned charity shop. We've gotten all sorts of things from an antique gramophone to weird it like fetish wear. There's no limit to what people donate really and it keeps things interesting when we inevitably have to sort through it all. Sometimes people do dump their garbage for us to clean up though or rummage through our bins. It's kinda nasty. But it's part of what keeps me interested in the work I do. 
not goodwill but UK charity shop. To name a few of the weird things we've had a small bag of human teeth. A box of plastic spiders. Various BDSM kits outfits. A pillow shaped like a pair of boobs. Inflatable sumo suits. Pretty much every day we get something along those lines in. I'd say the most interesting but also the saddest was when we had a lady ask if her friend could donate a serious amount of clothes. Turned out her friend lost his wife 4 years ago and had only just felt ready to let go. Whilst we were going through the donation. Lots of the clothes still had tags on. Heartbreaking to think she just never had the chance to wear them and that some of the worn items were things he'd picture his wife in after she'd gone. Edit. Oh and underwear. We get lots of dirty underwear in. I don't work there. However I went to one and found a deck of really nice looking cards for 0.50 cents. Took it home and found out they were worth $35 to $50. Win. I've seen a giant 3 feet inflatable D that we named Peter. A hand grenade. And an entertainment center with a bird nest inside. I actually haven't seen that many 6 toys while producing. We do get plenty of it that should have just ended up at the dump. TVs. Muss covered stuff, literal garbage bags, and most of the time we aren't allowed to say no to a donation unless it specifically has a TV, mattress, or gasoline powered object. You'll be amazed at how many stuffed animals we get that have all kinds of funky stains covering them. I worked for them many years ago. Good work. Good pay. Good core ha 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 duck goodwill. We got dildos sometimes. Big dubladingers. One time we got a bag of stinky clothes. We don't wash them so whatever. We opened the bag after they drove off and there was a rotting, bloody rabbit pelt in one of the shirts. We constantly got sneaky duckers trying to illegally dump mattresses and lawnmowers. It we don't take. But they do sell them. Because goodwill is the echelon of ducking bullet without any standards or regulations. Legit great people. Though. A basket of taxidermy kittens. An old oil painting that has a very abnormal looking eyes. The way they are painted makes you think they are watching you. But it is just the angle it seems. Needless to say the painting didn't find another owner. Used to be a donation attendant. My personal weirdest was when a very very old woman came to donate. Sweetest woman I've met in donations. Just one bag full of DVDs. Didn't need a receipt. EZPZ. I go to open it and it's like 40 DVDs of the grossest porn I've ever seen. The others DAs and I were laughing for a good while from that. So I've posted this in another thread a year and a half ago but it, it's still relevant. I was a lead at a goodwill until about summer last year but man. The stuff we would see. Enjoy. Oh my god my time to shine. Box full of used 6 toys. Peter meter a really tall shot glass. To measure wang size with. Fully loaded guns. Meth. At least three times. And my personal favorite. Our poor dead guy Gregory. He's a box of ashes that we have to keep in the cash room. Because we have to wait for loss control. Or whoever. To pick him up. He's been with us for over a year now. Because no one from corporate ever takes him. And myself and quite a few co-workers are very fond of him. Anytime we get a new cashier. We make sure to introduce them to Greg. And anytime something weird happens. Well. It was probably Gregory's ghost. Edit for formatting. Edit the 3rd of March 2016. Gregory got a pet dog. Her name is Gigi. Or Gigi. Not quite sure. She didn't have a name on her box. Only a photo. So our supervisor named her. But I'm so happy for Greg and I just had to update for anyone who will read this in the future. Oh. And so much weed. And bongs. Used to frequent a place we called the bins out in Sacramento. It was a pay by the pound store. I think things got lightly combed over and inspected before being put on the floor because there was always a lot of really weirded out there. Some of the weirded I personally found were. A boot full of dirty polaroids for what looked like auditions for a porn movie. They were really old. At least mid 80s. A piece to a handgun. Thing was busted to it but it was real. I informed the manager and they took it. No idea what happened to it. Anal beads. They looked like they were slimy but I think the silicone or whatever was beginning to break down. Soiled underwear. When I first started going a bunch I quickly realized why all the regulars wore gloves. I found itty underwear more than once. 
pretty nasty. Like 1000 VHS tapes in a wet box. He wanted the box back too. I try not to throw it away in front of people but I had to that time. We once had someone donate a guillotine. I think we sold for it for $30. Comma okay. It was a magician's guillotine. But still a rather unusual donation. My time to shine. I worked at a goodwill for 5 years. I'm just going to list off some that come to memory. Box of kittens. A live hand journeyed. About 5 guns. Straight garbage. Urns with ashes. Bongs. Dildos. Money. Bag of weed. Pyrex that people cook meth in. A guy bought his GF a $15,000 engagement ring and tennis bracelet for when he was going to propose. She said no and he was too embarrassed to return it. So he donated it for a tax write off. Sometimes rich people upgrade furniture and would donate pristine furniture. Goodwill is a terrible company and is only trying to make as much money as possible. One of the sayings on pricing was just go high cause we can always go down but can't raise the price. Picked up a bunch of stuff from a girl's house as she was moving out. Bed. Furniture. Cartons of household goods and suitcases. One of the suitcases was full of six toys. Bondage gear and some things we were all like WTF. It was a religious charity so it really was a oh moment when that suitcase was opened. I would recommend checking out our WTF garage sale. There are plenty of great weird thrift store finds. My personal favorite is this horseshoe. Personally, my weirdest most interesting thing I have found was my Halloween sweater. Shoebox of used plus and opened condoms was the worst of it. I volunteered at a Habitat for Humanity Restore. A lot of the time if I wanted something and it didn't work I got to keep it free of charge. When someone donated a spa quality massage chair that didn't work I brought it home and after bending the contacts where the remote plugs in back into place it worked once again. I can't remember the exact model but it looked alms at exactly like this. I later sold the chair on Craigslist for $300. Additionally, I also took a pair of JBL LATT speakers with back surround and repaired them. Those I still own over 3 years later. I became good friends with one of the local Goodwill employees a few years back when I was into retro video game hunting. One day he tells me in a really excited voice dude don't make it super obvious. Look in the cart I'm sorting through. Inside was this beat to crap while the PPK with the bluing worn off from years of use that looked so freaking cool. I asked him if I could buy it, but he told me Goodwill has a strict turn guns into the police policy and his boss had already been informed about the gun by a co-worker. He just wanted to show me because he knew I'd lose my mind over it just like he had. I've found a bunch of other rare interesting things since then, but I really wish I had somehow gotten my hands on that Walther. My friend and I were headed home from a day of skiing and he forgot to buy his girlfriend a birthday gift. We scrambled to the nearest goodwill we could find and combed the shelves for something to get her. We were quite dejected and couldn't figure out what would suffice when out of the corner of my eye I spotted a signed picture of Vin Diesel in an elegant frame. Staring up at me through the glass of the display case. The price you ask? A paltry $11 scored him the ultimate gift for his beloved. They broke up a week later. I'm not a thrift store worker. But I do go into thrift stores fairly often and have found some interesting things that the employees apparently didn't know what the items were when they came in. I have occasionally found a glass bong sighting out with other pieces of glassware or with decorative vases. I have also seen a cock pump as well as a few other types of six toys sitting out on shelves. Goodwill was my first job. My first day of working there. I opened a box and saw some yarn. It looked suspicious. So I poked it and a bunch of pinkies, baby mice, crawled out. That was a pretty good indicator of what the next year of my employment was going to be like. The only thing I really learned was that people take donation to mean free trash dump. A tiny toy car that said pizza with bean. Have you tried it? On the side. It sounds like a rip post I know. But honest to god it's real. I brought it home because it was going to get thrown away. I still don't know what it means. Edit. Posted a picture to army IRL for your viewing pleasure. Not me but a friend of mine told me this story she was sorting through donations and found a sweater with what appeared to be a really detailed mouse design on the front. Upon closer inspection, 
It was a dead mouse that had been mashed into the sweater for so long that the two fused together. Not me, but a friend of mine worked at a GW for years. This particular GW had a thing for people leaving dildos in donation boxes. I had to do 100 hours of community service, so I chose Goodwill. Not a bad place to do it other than the actual employees treat the volunteers like it. Anyway some of the fun stuff I saw was an unopened package of novelty glasses from the 70s. When you put your cold drink in them you get to see the ladies lose their clothes. I wanted to snag those but the manager brought them to his office. One woman would show up every weekend and donate the trash from her car. Think fast food wrappers and junk mail. We would have to take it and then it got thrown away right when she left. The one that stuck with me was some creepy guy walked up to the donations area and asked if we take underwears I said we did so he came back with one small bag of underpants. He replied here is the underwears. I put the bag with the rest of the clothes. Halfway back to his car he turned around and came back and asked if I kept the underwears I told him I did. He left to his car again. This happened about 3 more times before he drove off. Coming back to make sure I wasn't going to throw away the underwears. I assured him I wasn't. But you could see he was getting off on this. He left and those went right in the garbage. I'm not a goodwill worker but I found a notebook with a suicide note in it. It was very sad. Safe to say I won't be buying notebooks from there anymore. Someone once brought in some creepy statues of children. They looked alright until you saw their eyes. Oh god. Their eyes. They were indentations made by the artist's fingers so they looked gouged out. Apparently they were made by some famous person. They came with certificates. As though someone would actually want those things. I tried so hard to find the name of the statues and artist but can't find it and it's driving me crazy. Anyone know who it is? Date. Found it. Look up sculptures by Lee Borton. After hours of searching creepy sculptures and surfing eBay, I now have nightmares and Google will keep fueling me with ads about them. Yay. So will this thread be posted as an article on BuzzFeed on Thursday or Friday? One time I was shopping at Goodwill and found a dollar sign 200 infrared thermometer for $3 cause the person who donated it couldn't figure out how to change it from C to F and thought it was broken. It was a Fluke 561 with K-type thermocouple port. I bought a life-size cutout of Chewbacca from Sally Ann's charity shop. Cost me a tenner. Worth it to see the looks on people's faces when I drove him home in the convertible. Now my husband and I move him around the house and pretend like he's alive. I was looking around at a thrift store and opened up a cabinet. It still had several photos in it. A truancy letter. And a personal letter written from a daughter to her father. It felt so weird reading this person's thoughts and looking at their memories without ever knowing them. I was doing community service at Goodwill and somebody dropped off a purse with a bag of sugar in it. Not a Goodwill worker, but once saw a giant wheel of Gruyere in the auction section. I worked for the 13th largest church in the USA's donation store. I was head of customer relations and item specialist. I found everything from 6 toys, ancient family photos, a book from 1812, multiple old shopping lists, mostly wool socks, books, farming tools. One time we got an entire semi-trailer full of fold-out sofas. Another time I got a set of fancy china that was platinum rimmed and sold for $6,000. We also sold a super old self-playing piano from like forever ago that worked. The best thing I ever sold though was a SNES game that there was only like a few of called Final Fight Guy. IDK how much we got for it. They sold it on eBay. Sadly my job is closed now. After a year working there, I became kind of immune to the six toys and nasty things. So really it's the cool or unusual things I remember. I definitely found an urn with a collar on it with a cat sashes. And I also found two very small preserved sharks. Not sure what kind they were, but they definitely each fit in a regular mason jar full of what I think was formaldehyde. The sharks were in separate jars, not two crammed into one. I also found a taxidermy cat head, I think. I have a picture for this one but I don't know how to do the thing where you turn the link into like your own text. Hope that works.